The first step of this design is to pat on your background color and I chose gold from the Paradise Brilliant line because it's really easy to blend and just make sure your sponge is a little drier so that it is more of a wash of color instead of anything too strong. And you want it to fade out nicely on the edges. Next, take any white and place where you want your ornaments to be. Make sure that they're all different sizes and at different levels. My first ornament is gonna have a little design on it. So I'm starting with red, and this is wolf red. And I'm gonna apply that to the top and bottom of the ornament. Next, paint two dark green lines right up next to that red. And right in the center, paint a lime green. And that way this ornament incorporates all three of our colors. Fill in your red. With a clean, damp brush, dip it into red glitter, and you're going to roll the glitter and pat the glitter onto your still wet paint. And it will stay there all day if you use this technique. If you're in a hurry, you can pat the glitter on with your finger too, but this gives a more precise application. And do the same with your dark green and then finally apply lime green litter to your lime green. All of the rest of the ornaments are gonna be solid, so just go ahead and fill them in with your colors and use the same technique by rolling that glitter on and patting it on as well if you'd like. For the top of the ornaments, I used Paradise Brilliant Silver, and you just paint a little square and then top it off with a loop. So a little square and a loop. It's very easy. For the outlining, I'm using Tag Metallic Black with a number one brush. And the reason I'm using Metallic Black is because it's a little softer so it won't look so harsh and it's a little more forgiving too. When outlining your ornaments, make the outline on the bottom a little thicker than on the top and it'll help to give the ornament extra dimension. I wanted to add some glittery stars to the background. So using a BAM stencil, I'm just applying some gold face paint and then with a damp finger, applying the glitter while the stencil is still on my face. And this honestly didn't give the effect I was hoping for. Um, they looked more like glittery blobs. So maybe if I had a different color background and they stood out better, it would have turned out more nicely. For the strings holding the ornaments, just make sure that the lines go totally up and down. Don't slant them in any way. And um, try to stay on the edge of your brush so that the string is very delicate and thin. You don't want it to be thick. And bright glittery red lips pull everything together. All 
All right, you guys, so that is it. I hope that you like it and that you can use it at an event soon. I was pretty excited about this one because I haven't really seen a design like this anywhere. Uh, with that being said, I'm sure there's something like it on Pinterest, knowing how those things go. But if you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook. The link to my Facebook as well as all the products I used in this video are down below. And I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and have a Merry Christmas. Bye, everyone.